My name is Lee Bobowitz, and welcome back to Drop of Silence Fallen to Poison. When we left off, Mayu was waiting for her friend Mino, and all of a sudden something happened that made her gasp. So let's do a quick save and go. Suddenly the light fades from my vision. It wasn't just that it had become dark, but that I had the sensation of being unable to breathe. But rather than sweating it, I was I get a little mad. <laughs> sorry, sorry! Hearing my wordless protest, Tamino pulled her hands away. I get playing the Who Am I game while covering someone's eyes, but covering up someone's mouth too was just like Hamino. When I puff out my cheeks and object, Hamino just smiles at me. It's because you were staring into space, Mayu! Wow, she's, she's getting a little close there, ain't she? Ugh. Instead of apologizing, Camino blew on the nape of my neck. Whoa! Without thinking, I made a weird sound. Embarrassed, I looked around two or three times, but the pedestrians walking by seemed unperturbed and didn't even look our way. The culprit had surprised me. The culprit who had surprised me moves in front of me before I realize it. You're mean, Hamino. Ahaha! But I got to hear something good. No, you didn't. Moreover, you're... As I say that, I check the time on my smartphone. It's three minutes to noon, our agreed upon meeting time. It's not time yet. How rare. That's rude. Jeez. I'll make you make a weird noise again. Saying that, Amino opens and closes her fingers in small, swift, grasping motions. This time, at times like this, I know I better not, I better change the subject or get messed with by Amino again. Oh, by the way, did you buy a new one? You mean the necktie? Yes, I did. I thought I should get one to match my shorts. You and I haven't hung out since around midterms, Mayu. If I buy something today, I'll really be out of money. What about the aquarium? You're still set on finding out about the urban legends then? Of course! That's my number one goal! But as usual, I can't count the things I want to do on just one hand. Okay, okay, I get it. As long as I eat cookies and cream, that is absolute. I haven't forgotten. Anyway, Mayu, aren't your sandals new? Camino says as she looks at my feet, talking about three times as fast as she does in class. Yeah, nice, aren't they? They're super cute! How cool! I want a pair too! Uh, nope, that will be too similar. And these are the only pair of sandals I have for the summer. Talking like this, it puts me at ease. Unlike myself, who's childish, Hamino knows a lot about fashion and trends. Even here in Mainton, it seems like she blends in. Most importantly, by being with Hamino and constantly chatting, I no longer feel lonely. Oh yeah, Hamino, why did you bring such a huge bag? I'm glad you asked. Oh no, what she got planned? With a hehe, <laughs> Hamino opens the Boston bag she had let sink down from her shoulder. A variety of things come out, such as a flashlight, insect repellent, a simple blanket, a first aid kit, mattress, and a snacks like chocolate and cookies. What's all this? Amino, where do you plan on going? Ignoring the twitch developing in my face, Amino thumps her chest. Jeez, to the aquarium! But since we're investigating urban legends, we should at least have some supplies that will no doubt become valuable later on in the game. Rather than an investigation, the equipment she has reminds me more of going camping in the mountains. The snacks and blanket aside, we're in a city this size would we need insect repellent insect repellent or a flashlight. I keep those feelings to myself and just smile. I let out a breath that is half exasperated, half amused. I don't get sick of being with Amino. So either she's lying about just, oh, this is just my stuff. I mean, there could be that truth, but she could be lying and actually plan on staying the night. She's gonna drag us along. Whether Hermino is aware of my exasperated gaze or not, she starts to take something out, then quickly shoves it back in. She gives me a sim smile, implying some secret. Ah, no wait, it's too soon for you to see that. Ah, where are you about to pull out? I'm not telling. Upon saying that, Hermino quickly closes the bag. The way I see it, it is a wonder she fit all the supplies she had 
out just a moment ago. I wonder where sh it's all being stored. By the way, no club today? I ask with an underlying question of whether or not today is a day off from the club. At my question, Hamino averts her eyes. Nope, probably. No club today. Really? Giving a brief answer, I start walking. Upon hearing her reply, I immediately understand it as, ah, she skipped it again. But not wanting to ruin the merry mood, I merely quicken my pace. I'm not in any clubs, but even I know it's not good to skip. Speaking honestly, I want her to show up for her club, as she seems to be respected, even by students from other schools. Coming here like this makes me equally guilty, though. Once I get thinking, I don't usually stop, so the conversation shifts to a ramen shop that catches my eye. Oh, Mayu, do you want to get lunch? Huh? You caught that? Feeling as if she had seen right through me, we head into a nearby coffee shop. Ocean Cruising. It is apparently famous for following its coverage in a magazine for a sandwich that was overflowing with vegetables. I say apparently because on excitingly finding the restaurant, Hamino shared this. Compared to a hamburger shop, this place is a bit intimidating and trendy to me. But since I'm with Amino, it doesn't bother me. Seriously, Mayu is like little tiny Lee Bobowitz. Like more like high school Lee Bobowitz, but even so. Shoving the roast chicken sandwich with extra olives that I've ordered into my mouth, the uneasy the unease I have been feeling disappears. In contrast to my fervor, Hamino eats her avocado and shrimp sandwich in small bites. Well then, about our plans for today, Mino starts in as soon as we finish eating. We'll start with the aquarium, no matter what, that's the main thing. So we'll look into the old man's ghost and the closed off deep sea fish booth rumors. After that, we'll go into the shops and finally have some ice cream. I think it's better to get the cookies and cream first. If you eat two times, you'll mess up your stomach and get fat. You won't be able to wear a bathing suit. Ah, oh, Mino, it's no fair you put it's no fair you to put it that way. Ah, oh, Mino, it's no fair for you to put it that way. It isn't fair. Mino is in the exercise club, so she'll be fine. But for someone like me who doesn't exercise enough, it makes me stop and think. Having said I wanted to go to the pool, it is all the more important. Okay, then. <sighs> okay, then. We'll stick with my plan. That was a delicious meal. Urged on by Hamino, I decide to leave the ice cream shop for another time. Do you think your friend's not going to get you to go? Talking about silly things together, we leave the station behind. As opposed to the station's excellent cooling system, the city streets have a peculiar humidity and heat to them that envelops our bodies. The beginning of July has only just begun. I can already tell it's going to be a tough one. We weave our way through the crowds until we are ten minutes away from the station finally ending up in front of a skyscraper. The building is a symbol for the people of Monton, a combined facility for commerce, what you might call a fashion building in reference to the businesses it contains. Monton is a town known as a place people go for amusement. If you really want to have a good time, you have a movie theater. Ooh, excuse me. Monton is a town known as a place for people Monton is a town known as a place people go for amusement. If you really want to have a good time, they have a movie theater, arcades, and several shops. Though, you need to have money. Because of that, young men and women are more numerous than boys and girls. In this town of people older than us, Mino scans the panels for each floor without fear, saying, hmm, the aquarium is, people are concentrated around the panels. Oh, lord, that's a tall size, oh, wow, that's a tall skyscraper. A uh, little help to Mino trying to s take up as little space as possible. I leave in search. I leave the search to her and gaze up at the building. I look up and up, but the top of the building is so far I think my neck will snap. That's magnificent. This building was built not long after I was born. I had been finished. It had been finished before I could walk. But the first and only time I came here was in elementary school. The instant I think back on my first visit, my head began to hurt. No, I have to try not to think about it.
Those are things from long ago, things from the past, things that are done. I can do nothing but deal with the pain that feels as if something is pressing against the inside of my skull. I finally hear Hamino calling me in a loud voice. The elevator's this way, come on! I push away my headache and step through the automatic door. The information at the entrance and the placement of the crane game are exactly the same as that day, giving me a slightly bad feeling. That was spooky! Oh, we had a cutscene? Oh, are we at the opening? Ooh, jellies! Ooh. Fishies! This is really pretty. Fall into poison. Mayu Nakanobi. Mino Tamagawa. Ooh. Sayo Sakaguri. Oh, Miku Minato. Riko Saguinuma. Kenji Hiyoshi. Mari Nakanobi. Mari, wait! Sibling? Ooh. This is so pretty. Love the dress on the right side. Ooh, something bad happened, didn't it? Ooh. Oh, that's creepy. As in, the skirt's a little short, but otherwise, I mean. Ooh, I'm getting the chills, man. That's weird. Oh. Oh, are we done? Is that is that just the prologue? Is that just the prologue? I guess that's the prologue. <clears throat> wow. Okay, that was quite a bit to take in. So I guess we'll stop that for uh, right now. We'll get back to the aquarium in the next episode. Anyway, uh, show that like button some love before you get going. And I hope you have a wonderful day. If it's night wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful night. See you soon. Bye.